Green Heck. Building value in air. Welcome back to the shop. We have another very green control today, the constant pressure controller or the constant CFM control. What we're gonna do in this video is walk through the programming and setup of this device. Now, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is flip open the cover. In our last video, we covered how to wire this. So I recommend you go back and look at that. But here, I'm gonna concentrate on this toggle switch right here where we can go from run mode just flip it to program mode. Now, as we close this, you'll notice that it, our LED turned purple. There are four menus within the program mode and, and two of them are the ones that we actually need to address. The first one, set point edit. This is where we're gonna put in our set point. By hitting the up arrow, I can get to the initial setup menu. That's the second menu we're gonna play with. The third is manual control that just allows you to manually control the speed of your fan. And then the fourth is to reset this to factory default. So we are gonna go into set point edit. So we'll just simply hit the enter button to enter the menu. The first thing it asks us is what is the pressure that you want to maintain? So in this scenario, right now from the factory, it's negative 0.1 inch. We're gonna actually reduce that to negative 0 0.06. All right, so in the, our little scenario, let's say we have a bath fan and I'm monitoring the pressure using the high port in the ductwork. And when the bath fan goes on, pressure in the ductwork goes up, this is going to then speed the fan up and pull that air out of the ductwork. For this scenario, my low port is just going to be left open because we're using the building space for ambient pressure reading. All right, so negative 0.06, that's what we want to maintain. I'm going to hit enter. Cut out. This parameter is the set point when the motor goes below this value, below 2 volts or below 20%, that this control says there is no demand on the system. I'm going to go ahead and shut down the fan. So you can set that to 20, 21, wherever you need to be. From the factory, we're at 20%. Our second parameter for cutout is the delay. So if we are needing less than 20% of the fan's capability to maintain our set point, we now enter cutout. This is the delay or the purge time that is gonna keep the fan running to get any warm air out of the ductwork. And you can set this by one second intervals. After this 30 seconds, the fan will actually stop and wait for the pressure to change. Cutout return pressure set point. This is asking how much of a pressure change does there need to be for the fan to start up again. And here we have a 10th of an inch. Override. There is that override terminal on the inside. When that sees continuity, um, this is the speed the fan will be running at. And you can set zero and anything between 20 and 100. So we have a parameter here that allows us to define how slow the fan can go. A typical very green motor can go as slow as 20% or as fast as 100%. So this is saying we can go all the way down to the bottom, but if you wanted to maintain at least a certain amount of airflow, um, you could easily set this you know, at 22 or 23 and not let it slow all the way down. The next set point is our maximum output. So the, we're basically def defining the range the fan can operate in to maintain your set points, your pressure set points. Um, the minimum, we can go from 20%, and this is up to 100%. Now, you might want to like reduce this if you didn't want to move air that fast. You, you wanted it to control the pressure, but you wanted to take a little bit out of the speed of the air. So you're going to reduce that top-end speed the fan has capable, that fan is capable of using. 
digital output set point. This is that set point. When the motor hits this percentage or greater, the digital terminal on the inside of this will actually close. Again, that was for reference. Other uh, controllers uh, or their building management system could see, hey, the motor is at, you know, we'll say 70% or whatnot. So now when the fan is speeding up, if we hit 83%, that digital terminal will close. The last screen for this menu is just a saving set points. You'll see the green heck, and then it goes back into the menus. So that is set point edit. The next one we want to look at is our initial setup. We're going to hit enter. First thing it asks us is what is the unit of measure you want to play with, either imperial or metric. We'll leave it on imperial for right now. The next question is, which feature did you want to use? Which mode, constant pressure or constant airflow? It's the same controller, two different probes, but it's the same controller for both those functions. For our demonstration today, we're just gonna leave it in constant pressure. Our next question is set point location, local or remote? What this is asking is, am I setting my set point on the screen here? We set it at negative 0.06 inches, so that's local. If I was using the remote set point terminal inside of this, and a building management system was telling it what its new pressure was, then you would use remote. 99% of installations will use the local setting here. Now this is that probably the most important one of this entire video. Fan control on inlet or outlet. What it's asking is where is the probe? Is the probe on the inlet side of the fan or the outlet side of the fan? If this one's incorrect, all your readings are gonna be opposite, negative versus positive. So for our scenario, our fan is on the roof um, and this is in the ductwork. So we're gonna say fan control is on the inlet and we're controlling the fan on the roof. Pressure output, this is from the factory zero to 10 VDC. That is what our motor is designed to read. Then it gives us a startup timer that gives you a couple of seconds delay uh, before it starts controlling and you can modify this. Three seconds is standard. Sensor filter, that has to do with the PID loop. Response time. Now you can set this as fast, slow, or medium. Medium is the most commonly used here and basically you're changing how quick this can react to pressure changes. If it's too fast, you could find your fan ramping up and down for a long time trying to find the right speed. So you can slow the response time down. At this point, we're hitting saving settings, and this is programmed for our needs. For a full description of all these different parameters and functions, please refer to the IOM, the Installation Operation and Maintenance Manual. This can be found on our website, greenheck.com. Of course, if there's any questions, you are welcome to call into our customer service group. Have yourself a great day.